I'm back. I'm sorry. Sneaker Showdown Summer 2023, it's time, we all know it, okay? There's four rounds. Round number one is just a screening round. As you can see, I've collected about 15, I think it's 15 pairs of shoes. These are, for the most part, popular mainstream shoes that you're gonna see around the town. I'm gonna screen through these shoes, and it's gonna be elimination. If you make it to round two, you're gonna get my due diligence, right? Can I see myself wearing them? Would they work with my wardrobe, you know, et cetera. If you make it to round three, these shoes are on my feet. I'm gonna go to the store and try them on or order them online. And then my favorite shoe goes to round four, which means I buy it or I don't return it. This is mainly an excuse for me to buy sneakers. I, let's be honest. Reebok Club C's. So Club C, I guess, is like a whole a whole line from Reebok, but I think the 85s, these Club C 85 Vintage, that's the one that, I, that I'm really looking at. Cool colorways, but they're still maintaining like a, a white or a beige, like base color, which, I just can't resist. They're also really affordable at $85, uh, and the silhouette's not bad. That's an easy round two. Adidas Gazelle, a classic shoe. Definitely resurged over the past few years to be very popular, very mainstream shoe. It's very sporty, but in that way, I feel that it, it's a bit limiting. Like, I wouldn't wear these, like, to a nice dinner. But that being said, like throwing some shorts with this, some white crew socks on, and like I think you have a nice laid back but clean look. Fine, we can probably go to the next round with the gazelle, just barely. New Balance 990s. I really, really don't understand the hype behind the 990s. The design is quite busy. I, I don't really love this shoe. I think it can look good on some people. I, I just don't think it would look good on me. 990s are out. New Balance 574 cores. This feels better to me. It's a simpler shoe. It's also half the price. It kind of gray, it's beige. I think looks great. I think that it's worth another look. New Balance 327s. I used to really hate these shoes. And the reason I hated them is because I really just couldn't get behind this trend of the, the sole kind of snaking up to the heel and even the toe of, of a sneaker. And a lot of people are doing that now. This trend is growing on me. I don't know that this is the best implementation of that trend, but I think it's one of the first big shoes to popularize it. That being said, colorways at least that New Balance is selling right now are not compelling to me. So this is gonna be a pass, but I will probably revisit it later on. So let's see if I can drag that. <clears throat> okay, Converse Pro Highs. Mm, I don't really know why I put this on the list. <clears throat> okay, Veja V12. For those of you who have been with the channel for a while, my first video ever was on Veja. Specifically, I picked up a pair of V10s. The sustainability and ethical angle is good. It's good for the future of, of you know, sneakers, of fashion in general. Like, that's, that's something that we should lean into. So again, I already have a pair of V10s. I don't think I need another pair. But, for those of you who don't have Vejas, I do recommend them. Common Project Achilles Low. No, I am tired of these shoes and they are way overpriced. They are, they are, I'm sorry, but they are $410 for a pair of like white sneakers. Yes, it's nice leather. Yes, it's probably imported from Italy or wherever the fuck, I don't even know. There's nothing, nothing going for these shoes besides nice leather, okay? And a lot of people are gonna disagree with me on that one, but that's how I feel. I will never buy a pair of Common Projects. You're done. Adidas Ultra Boost. I'm kind of over it. I don't have any people wear them. I think that's fine. I won't wear them, but uh, yeah. Ultra Boost, unfortunately, is going to be a no for me. A little bit too sporty for what I want today. Nike Blazers. Mids or highs, I guess. Probably highs. What's cool about these shoes is they're pretty versatile. They're sporty enough that you can throw on some gym shorts and actually hit the gym in these shoes. Classic and clean enough that you could wear this with like, you know, a blazer and a nice pair of pants, and I think it would look uh, really smart. I do. This is not like a risky shoe, but I think it's worth some attention, and I'll probably advance this to the next round. Nike Air Force Ones. <sighs> I can't buy this shoe. I can't buy this shoe because everyone already has it, but it's a great shoe. I wish, I really wish so bad that no one had this shoe because I would buy it in a heartbeat. I think it's a flattering shoe, and I think it looks good on most everyone, so. I'm not gonna buy it, but uh, yeah, like I, I think it's Air Force Ones. I mean, you can't really go wrong. Alexander McQueen oversized sneaker. 
Uh, the McQueens. Okay, here we, we got ourselves a real pair of luxury shoes here, and I'm telling you right now, don't buy this shoe. If you buy this shoe and you're a guy, you're 100% a douchebag. This shoe is also nearly $600. It's absolutely not. Adidas Stan Smiths. I have to talk about Stan Smiths if I'm gonna talk about sneakers. One thing I will say about the Stan Smiths is their designs are starting to get fresher. Like looking at this, we're seeing some cool collabs. Uh, what even is this? My friend has a pair of Kermit the Frog Stan Smiths, which is pretty cool. Beyond some of the cooler collabs and colorways, I've actually never really been a fan of Stan Smiths. On, on foot, I think the silhouette ends up looking like really kind of rounded and a little bit goofy. I'm not gonna get these shoes. Maison Margiela Replica. We're back in the luxury department of shoes here, but this, this is clean. <laughs> this is a clean shoe. There's something about it that really speaks quality. Slide that over. Jordan 1s. I think if you're more into like streetwear, Jordan 1s will like, you'll feel right at home wearing ones. Uh, it's just not really my style. So I won't buy them, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're ones, so take a look. Round two, we only have five shoes that made it through the elimination round. Surprising, I thought there'd be more. Hmm. What my instincts are telling me is I don't want the gazelles. I don't want them. Club C's, I already know I want to I want to try these on. I like the subtle accent color on a white sneaker. I think it looks good. I think we go with the 574 course. The right colorway would look great on this. For the sake of variety and content, we kind of have to go with the Maison Margiela's. These are true luxury sneakers. These shoes excite me. The mids are cool. Uh, I think the main reason they went to round two was because they were high tops, and I do want a pair of high tops, but that's not enough of a reason to buy the shoe, but you know, be better luck next time. That's it. We have our trifecta. I'm excited to try these shoes on. Like I'm already feeling good about owning a new pair of shoes. I know I'm, I, I think I know I'm gonna buy one of these. I hope it's not the Maison Margiela cause like I don't, I can't be spending $400 on a pair of shoes. But if I walk into that store, that's dangerous. I promise you that. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we got some shoes. Uh, specifically, the Reebok Club C's came in. So let's take a look. Here they are. Uh, first impressions, not bad. Uh, the blue trim here, especially is something that I like, although it doesn't feel that high quality and it looks a little bit duller than it did in the picture. The dots in the upper of the shoe here look nice, kind of remind me of AF1s a little bit. I think I'm happy with the way it looks, so let's actually put it on. All right, we're gonna do this part of vlog style. I don't really shoot vlogs, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'll say right now, I put the shoes on my feet and they don't look as good as I thought they were gonna look. The silhouette is just no longer interesting to me when I put it on my foot. I do have narrower feet and this shoe does seem wider, like just especially looking at it from the top here, I think you can see like it's kind of a wide like footprint and my foot again is, is on the narrower side. So that might just not be a good mix for me. I'm not gonna not recommend these shoes to people. Like I think they, they also feel pretty comfortable they have nice detailing. I think the colors are great. Uh, I don't think it fits those with a narrow foot though. I think that's like the warning to get. And so I probably will be returning these shoes, um, but I, I get it. I think it's a good shoe. Definitely worth your consideration. Next up, we do have the New Balance Core 574s. Ooh. Mm, the kind of suede look here actually looks really great close up. You have a subtle texture on it. And in the light, I just think that looks really great. And you have a sort of a different material here, a rougher material. Uh, and the, the textures are something that did not really come through online, but seeing it in person, I actually quite like it. I think a little splash of green is a fun thing to add to your wardrobe. Yeah, so okay, let's let's put these on. I, hopefully these fit better than the Reeboks. I think I like them. They, they fit my foot better and the color's cool. They are definitely kind of on the taller, bulkier side as far as the silhouette goes, but that's something that I don't really have right now in my closet and I think I need, so I'm a fan of that. They're, they're definitely comfortable. I mean, they're New Balances, no surprise there. Pretty much all New Balances are comfortable. I think these would probably look better with shorts, maybe, but yeah, I don't know. So far, these feel good. All right, so the New Balances are nice and the Reeboks are nice too. Uh, I, I can probably recommend both of those shoes, like if they fit you well and you like the colors, 
I think those are really two solid options. They're both sold at a very fair price. You know, we could call it a day right here, right now. But there is one shoe left, which is the Maison Margiela replicas. Those are expensive shoes. So I wasn't just going to go pay $500 online just to get those and return them because even with a return policy, that's it's kind of a lot of money to be short on. For these ones, I actually went to the Maison Margiela store in West Vale just to check them out in person. I walk in, and at this point, I'm pretty much fully prepared to scoff at the price and selection and walk out. But I come in, and there's, there's really no one there, but I find the replicas in the corner. And they have a few colorways. Uh, they have the all-white, which actually looks pretty good. They had a black one and some others. So the guy catches me looking at the shoes. He says, yeah, everyone's buying those. You want me to bring some out? I said, I mean, I'm a nine and a half. What do you have? He said, we're pretty much sold out for nine and a half, nine, ten, for pretty much all of those shoes on the wall. So I'm like, okay, good. I can just save my $500, walk home, enjoy my new balances, and be done with it. But he said, let me go check in the back for you. A few seconds later, he comes back with some replicas. He says, these are the only ones left in your size, period. I say, okay, let's take a look. They're actually a faded red, which is not the colorway I necessarily would have chosen, but I figure I might as well just at least try them on. I slip them on. They feel really, really good. In fact, they fit perfectly, like a glove, like they were made for me. I'm like, all right, these are pretty comfortable and they do feel luxurious. He said, why don't you go take a look in the mirror? I walk around the back, take a peek inside, <sighs> pretty much instantly fall in love with these shoes. Damn, these feel good, they fit perfect, and the red is actually sick. I walk out of the change room. The guy's like, what do you think? I'm like, I like them. He says, they're 30% off. I said, mmm. And I pretty much buy them on the spot. And boy, do I love these shoes. Everything about this shoe, I love. The color is amazing. The quality is amazing. The form factor, it's actually really, really good. It's not too short, it's not too tall. It's not chunky, but it does have a presence. There's subtle details around that just speak to its quality. They just scream luxury. I'm telling you, when you put these things on, I just feel like I am him. I am him in these shoes. I promise you that. You, walk, you see me walking around the street with these shoes on, I'm the guy. It's me. I'm happy to say we have a winner for Sneaker Showdown 2023. If you're sitting on some cash right now and you want something kind of classic, for me, I mean, these these are the ones. Anyways, thank you for watching Sneaker Showdown 2023. I'm glad it's over. I'm happy it worked out. My wallet is not. I'll see you guys soon.